MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. The Rego Fix Power Grip System, it's a new agency for MA4. Can you tell me some more? Sure. Um, obviously, we manufacture cutting tools, and, uh, and as people know, as we, you know, we do specialise in high speed machining. So we need a very accurate, high grip force um, tool holding system. Because when we talk to our customers, it's not just about the cutting tool, it's what the holder they're using. Um, so we looked at various systems and uh, power grips seem to fit our requirements. Um, just to briefly, uh, what it is, it's not, it's, there's no heat involved. Um, this is purely a, a compression. It basically push fits the collet into the, into the holder. Uh, and in tests that have been carried out, uh, once it's clamped up, the transferable torque is around about 50% higher than heat shrink and that is with a standard collet. Um, one thing to point out with this system, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't care what kind of back end we've got on, whether we've got HSK, BT, Capco, whatever it happens to be, this system doesn't care. All it relies on is this groove at the top of the holder. So the way that the tool is assembled, you have the holder, you have the collet, and then obviously you have the tool uh, inside the collet. The collet and tool fits into the uh, holder. As you can see, it's standing a little bit proud there. And what this system will do, it'll actually uh, press that collet into the, uh, the holder up to, a, up to a stop. Inside the holder, you have a very shallow, very accurate taper, and on the collet, you have the, the same. Okay, I've assembled the tool, the collet's in, and then the tool is in, into the holder. We talked about this, this uh, uh, groove on the, on the top of the holder, and that's the only thing this system relies on. Down here, it's irrelevant. We don't have to change adapters down here. Uh, this basic system just relies on the groove. So the, this groove sits on that, that shoulder there. As you can see at the top there, there is the, the top part of the press, press unit. And that will sit, that will, as that goes down, it will go onto the top of the collet and it will force that collet into place. And by the simple press of a button, the press will come down. And then take the, the tool assembly out. And as you can see, that gap has now gone and that's been pressed down into the position. Now that as it is there, as uh, tests have, uh, have shown, 50% more gripping force than, than heat shrink. Um, one of the issues with heat shrink that we've found, or certainly our customers have commented on, is if they have, for example, three identical holders in their rack, and because they've been heated up and cooled down, they're all brown, they're all the same color, they can't tell which one's been heated up three times and which one's been heated up 200 times. So which one do they use? And also with heat shrink, if you buy an eight millimeter heat shrink holder, that's all it will hold. It will only hold an eight millimeter shank tool. With a power grip system, you get, you get much more gripping strength, but you have a collet system, so the holder will hold a variety of diameters. Uh, this particular collet is for holding uh, round shank end mills. We can also put drills in here because it's uh, mechanically sealed, so you can actually pump coolant through the back, so you can use any through coolant drills with this collet. They also offer uh, what they call a coolant flush uh, collet which has the grooves down the center of the collet so you can get coolant right down to the side of the tool so that's putting the that's putting the tool in to take the tool out it's very simple there's no heating up or basically the unit fits back in there as you can see that's now underneath the collet so that will now pull the collet out close the system press the button and then the press will do what it does and, and pulls the collet out That's it, disassembled. Yeah, it's impressive. How about the run out of the tool? Will that be similar to a string fit holder? Uh, Rigafix say that three, well, the three micron concentricity uh, at three mm -hmm. times diameter from the nose, uh, and they guarantee these uh, 20,000 cycles, so 20,000 insertions and extractions of collets. They will guarantee it. I'm not quite sure how many, how long that would take to do, but it's a long time. So they, they, they do guarantee this unit uh, for, a, you know, for that kind of, those kind of cycles. So what's the market you're looking to attract? Obviously aerospace is a big one, where safety critical components, maybe high value components, but would a subcontract engineer buy something like this? I think, I think what you have to remember with a power grip system, uh, like heat shrink, like some of the other systems, it, 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 is, it is a system. Um, if people are looking at a new tooling system, um, then, then fine. If they're just looking for one tool as a, a one, cut, one chuck, which is a non-pull-out solution, we have that as well. Uh, but it is a system. 
it's not something that if you just want to buy three or four chucks you would invest in this but somebody who's looking to maybe invest in heat shrink or hydraulic type systems I would certainly recommend that they take a look at this before before making that decision. Mm -hmm. How about long reach tools on shrink fit? That's a big application area. Yeah, I mean, Re Rego Fix do actually do, uh, in fact, recently we sold a, an HSK 63 holder to a, comp a customer of ours and the gauge length was 400 millimetres. So they do make them, they do make them very, they do make them long. Uh, we can actually reduce down because I know a lot of the people that say the advantage with um, heat shrink, small nose diameter so they can get down into deeper areas. We have a we can, we can offer that by means of uh, uh, extensions. For example, that is that is a PG15, so it's a much smaller nose diameter, around about 24 millimeters. Or we can go down to the PG10, uh, which is even smaller. So what we would do is something like that. We could power grip. So we could power grip that extension into this holder. We've now taken the PG25 down to a PG15, so it's a much smaller nose diameter. We'll also uh, drastically increase the reach of the tool. We would then take a, a so, for example, if we wanted to extend that down and, and put a six millimeter tool in there. This system, all we do is replace replace the inserts. That's for a PG25. So now we've put this extension piece in, we, 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 we move the, the clamping set down to the PG15 set. Obviously you can see it's a slightly smaller diameter in the middle. So here we have the tool in the collet. The collet goes into the uh, PG15 holder. Again, even with the PG15 it relies on that, uh, that groove at the bottom. Close the door, clamp it down. Now we have a tool extension with a very, very small diameter tool, so uh, reach reach is not really an issue for this system. What run out could I expect when you've put one inside another? I know with a typical shrink holder, we're looking at about three microns per adapter. Is this similar? Regafix say probably this will now go from three there to probably about five, six microns at the end. Obviously, as you get longer, it might creep up to eight and ten, but it's still maintaining pretty good concentricity even at those extensions. Okay, so if I'm a shrink fit user currently, Am I too far down the road or should I still adopt this technology? Well, interesting you say that. We do have a lot of customers who are using ShrinkFit, uh, have had issues with them in terms of pull-out um, because as, as they get heated up and cooled down many, many times, the, the, tool, the, the material does eventually uh, give way and the tool pulls out. So we've actually shown this to some of our Tier 1 aerospace customers who are, who are big um, uh, heat shrink users. And also the issue with the health and safety, obviously heat, heat obviously people burning themselves. So some companies are starting to look at alternative systems. And certainly we've got installations in companies where they've already been using heat shrink. So how can you guarantee the tool isn't going to come out? To make sure that it absolutely cannot come out, they do offer the secure grip system. Now with secure grip, unlike other systems, this doesn't, uh, it doesn't require special modifications to the shank. Um, this, will, this will cater for standard tools. Here we have a, uh, it's a standard holder, a PG25 holder, and this is a 12 millimeter collet. But if you look inside there, you will notice there's actually a thread. So the inside of the collet is actually threaded. So the reason for the thread inside the collet is, uh, if you take this for example, this is a standard, one of our standard tools with a welded flat, available from, from many, many different outlets. Nothing special, there's no special uh, requirements, just, just a, a typical weld and shank. What Rigafix provide via ourselves here in the UK is their secure grip system. As you can see, we've got this, what we call this is the uh, secure grip insert. Now that will fit onto the shank of the tool. We then insert the tool into the collet and then we basically screw it in. Once that's up to the stop, that tool will not come out. That is held in place. Yeah, I can see that. It's a big advantage being able to do it on the standard tool, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think when you start making modifications to shanks, whether it be 
some kind of fitting grooves or some kind of uh, extra length to, to cater for the, the holding mechanism. This utilizes standard tools. Okay, so we've assembled the tool into the holder. Again, back into the press. Locate on the groove. Press of a button, the collet is clamped into the holder. Okay, that's, that's the tool assembled, that's it's assembled, so we've still got the same grip force. Now at this moment in time, the collet cannot, sorry, the tool cannot come out of the collet. But there is a, you know, people say, yeah, but the collet could possibly come out of the holder. We have a solution for that. This is our uh, secure grip nut. As you can see, this, this particular holder has got a thread on the top of it. So that nut will fit over there. Screw down to uh, flush with the collet. This can then be tightened up, it doesn't have to be particularly tight. So now we've, we've totally stopped, we've totally in, uh, not allowing that tool to get out. The, 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 the end mill cannot come out of the collet and the collet cannot come out of the holder. So we have a 100% guaranteed non-pull out system there. Yeah, I can see that. That tool isn't coming out, is it? Absolutely not. Just finally, are there any limitations on this system? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, one thing we do get asked for is, because obviously a lot of the customers that we deal with, they, uh, they're using ER type collets or ER type chucks for milling. Um, and for the high speed machining strategies, then these are, you know, can be a little bit unreliable. The Riga Fix do actually offer an ER collet with the threaded shank. So if customers are using ER collets and would like to be able to adapt them to a non pull out solution, then we can provide them with an ER collet with a secure grip thread with the insert which fits on their welding shank mm -hmm. so it becomes a non pull out ER chuck. Well, many thanks. It's been a great insight and I look forward to seeing some in the field. Thank you very much.